we will conduct this experiment through the virtual biology lab of Proxy Labs, where we extract RNA and separate it from DNA and protein using a solution called Trizole. Trizole is an acid solution containing guanidinium thiocyanate GITC, phenol, and chloroform. If you're watching this video on our YouTube channel, please subscribe and activate the notification bell to regularly get our new videos. In this experiment, you'll learn how to extract RNA from tissue and how to protect the RNA sample. You'll also learn how to use the centrifuge, which is a device used in factories and laboratories in several areas in the separation of molecules according to density in the separation process. After the separation, RNA remains in the upper colorless aqueous phase, while most DNA and proteins remain either in the interphase or in the lower red organic phase. The RNA is then recovered by precipitation using isopropanol. You will also use a water bath, a container with water that keeps the temperature of the samples at a constant degree for a certain period. We will also use a homogenizer and an Eppendorf. The solutions used in this experiment are Trizol solution, chloroform solution, isopropanol solution, 70% ethanol solution, 3% hydrogen peroxide, and TE buffer. Now start the experiment at the Virtual Chemistry Lab and Praxi Labs. In this experiment, we'll perform some steps in order to learn how to extract RNA from the tissue. Stage 1, Homogenization. Before beginning, clean the working area with ethanol 70% and 3% hydrogen peroxide by the atomizer. Add 1 milliliter trizol solution to the tissue Then homogenize the sample using homogenizer Then incubate the sample for 5 minutes at room temperature Transfer the tissue homogenate to a new Eppendorf tube Stage 2 – Phase Separation Add 200 microliters of chloroform to the sample Close the cap of the tube, then make inversion twice. Incubate the sample for 3 minutes at room temperature. Place the sample in the centrifuge for 15 minutes at 12,000 RPM and 4 degrees Celsius. Note, by the end of the centrifugation, you'll be able to see upper colorless aqueous phase and interphase and a lower red organic phase. Transfer the aqueous layer carefully to a new tube. Store the interphase and organic phase at 4 degrees Celsius in order to use them to isolate DNA or protein. Stage 3. RNA Precipitation Add 500 microliters of isopropanol to the sample. Close the cap of the tube, then make inversion twice. Incubate the sample for 10 minutes at room temperature. Place the sample in the centrifuge for 15 minutes at 12,000 RPM and 4 degrees Celsius. Note, by the end of the centrifugation, you'll be able to see total RNA precipitate as a white pellet at the bottom of the tube. Stage 4. RNA Washing Remove the supernatant using pipette. Wash the pellet with 1 milliliter of 70% ethanol.
close the cap of the tube, then make inversion twice. Place the sample in the centrifuge for 5 minutes at 7500 RPM and 4 degrees Celsius. The ethanol supernatant is removed, 1. using micropipette, 2. then leave the RNA to dry in air for 5 minutes. Suspend the pellet in TE buffer by adding 50 microliter of RNA's free TE buffer three, then make pipetting. Incubate the pellet in a water bath at 60 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes. Now you have RNA sample ready for use in any other processes. If you liked this video, share it with your friends and leave your feedback.